Hi friends, you are welcome to Cooking and Gardening Diaries. Today I will be talking about uh, ZZ plant. ZZ is a very popular uh, indoor plant and it is a good source of air purification and also it, it enhances the beauty of our house. All part of ZZ uh, plants are said to be toxic. So take care of your pets and keep it away from the reach of your small kids. In taking care of ZZ, the first thing comes is soil. Uh, plant your ZZ in a well-drained all-purpose potting mix or a growing mix that has three parts of all-purpose mix and one part is succulent soil mix. ZZ plant luckily doesn't need any special type of soil, it does well Ill in any well-drained potting soil. We can water our ZZ depends on how much light it is receiving. If less light then less water, if more light then more water. In summers, uh, in when it's good light, once a week uh, watering is okay. In winter, less light, once in three weeks or once in one month don't over water it especially low light areas if you are confused when to water the plant let me tell you a very good trick you can just uh, insert your finger inside the soil for uh, two inches and uh, try to find out if the soil is uh, moisture or wet don't water your zz also you can lift up the pot and check for the drainage hole if possible and check touch the soil there the soil is dry you can water your zz immediately if the soil is wet then you don't need to location it is a tropical plant so it can adapt to low humidity indoor spaces but the place must receive some light the best place is where it can receive indirect sunlight or moderate to high light low light low growth and the, the stems are stretchy, it will turn leggy and if ZZ is placed in hot sun or against a hot window, then they will burn in no time. ZZ's attractive leaves brightens the room. Uh, this plant usually grows slowly and stray remain green if it be placed at a conducive location. Fertilizer we can feed it a balanced liquid household fertilizer i have made one onion peel fertilizer which i keep feeding it once in a month and also i feed it with the uh, uh, used tea leaves fertilizers and also epsom salt i give epsom salt to my zz uh, once in two months how to make onion peel fertilizer i have made a video you can just view that and for the uh, for the use tea leaves fertilizer also you can check uh, the video and i have uh, i will be sharing these two links in the description if you wish to you can watch propagation how to propagate a zz i have already made a video uh, sharing the link in the description Please watch the video. The video is very beautiful and very thorough on propagation. To clean the leaves of ZZ plant, uh, wipe dust from ZZ leaves once in every week with a soft damp cloth. Uh, this task promotes aspiration and keep the leaves shiny and attractive. I would suggest you never use commercial leaf shiner on ZZ leaves or any of your plant pruning it really doesn't need much pruning the main reason to prune the plant uh, are for propagation or to prune off the occasional lower yellow leaves which are already spoiled the brown leaves which you which is spoiling the beauty of the plant you you can just prune them off ZZ has become a favorite indoor plant these days and I also have made this video in the love of my ZZ plant. I have tried to involve all the points which be kept in mind while taking care of ZZ. I hope you have liked my video. Thank you for watching. See you soon again in my next video.
Till then take care. Bye bye.